Hey guys, Blacklight here. Today I have a quick redstone video for you guys, and um, I'm not exactly sure what to call this machine, so I'm just going to show you what it does because it has a very strange purpose and it's hard to like put it into words, so I'll just show you. Uh, you press the button once, nothing happens. Press it again, light turns on. Press it again, nothing happens. Press it again, light turns on. And what should I should mention is the button is your input and uh, this lamp right here signifies the output. Press it again, nothing happens. Press it again, light turns on, and so on and so forth. And it'll do that forever. And, uh, you know, this is not exactly the most practical redstone device. Uh, you probably won't find yourself using this very much, but there are a few circumstances in which you may need something like this. And I have an example prepared that I'll show you guys in a little bit. Um, so next, I'm going to show you how to build it step by step. First, you're going to want to make an RS NOR latch like this. Place this redstone first before you put redstone up here so that this torch is on. Uh, next, redstone like this. Repeater here on full delay. Redstone along this path and a block on top of this to cut off the signal. Um, next, two blocks like this. Redstone and repeater on two tick delay. Next, make a levitating AND gate right here. Oopsie. Just like that. Um, put a block here. And I'm just going to switch this to iron, just because I'm OCD. And that actually just, oops, that fl flipped the RS, uh, RS Nor latch. Let me just turn it back again. Oops, what am I doing? What? Oh, there we go. I, that was a weird glitch. I pressed the button that didn't turn off. That's strange. Uh, anyway, lamp here to signify the output. Redstone here. And you're basically all good to go. Now, there is one small issue with this. If we press the button, the light won't turn on, obviously. If you press it again, it will. But from now on, it'll turn on every single time. And that's because the RS NOR latch is not getting reset. So we can reset it in one of two ways. We can have a manual reset. So I'll press this button. It'll reset the circuit. And it'll work again. But only one time use. From then on, it'll work every single time. Uh, and then you'd have to press the button again to reset it. Or we can make an automatic reset, which I'll do right here. Uh, put it two repeaters, one of them on four delay, one of them on one delay. Um, redstone here, torch here, and a torch here. And then your manual re or your automatic re reset is all all good to go. So this will fire the first time because as you can see this torch is uh, not lit. So actually I'll just manually I'll manually reset it real quick just for the sake of example. Uh, press this button. Doesn't turn on. Press it again. Does. Press it again. Doesn't turn on. Press it again. Does not. And that's exactly what we have over here. You can see they are identical. Uh, so this is pretty compact and uh, pretty easy to make. Okay, so I've gathered my thoughts and I'm ready to show you the example. I just wanted to take a little time to think about what I was going to say. Uh, right here we have a machine uh, that I was going to use for some sort of game I was going to make, but I'm not sure if I'm going to go through with it. Uh, but this is my example. Um, so what we have here, let me explain the other redstone before I uh, explain why we need the machine here. This is the machine that we just built. And, um, yeah, so you can see here, first of all, let me just say, I don't have the uh, manual reset enabled, and that's because we do not want this for this particular setup. Uh, so starting with this purple wool over here, um, what this does is, when you step on this pressure plate, uh, yeah, let me go into survival and get this out of my inventory, do not want, for the sake of example, I step on this pressure plate, and I will get a gray wool, because that is a dispenser right there, and it shoots it through the block. Uh, so I get that wool, but if I step on it, Again, I don't get the item. And that's what this machine does right here. Basically, this is an RS NOR latch. You can see that is opposite of all the other ones. And that uh, makes it so that, like, because since you're only triggering one of the inputs, you can't get the, you can't trigger it twice. And so I don't want this in my inventory anymore. The second part of the machine, uh, you can see this one's triggered, so that's helpful for my example. And these ones are not. You can see the piston is up. Um, what happens is, since the machine uses pulses, if you have a continuous flow of power to it, it creates some, uh, a kind of clock, basically, and you do not want that. Um, so, the redstone comes up here, goes into this block, goes there and there. Let me go back into creative here. 
uh, comes up here and after a delay cuts off the power to the rest of the line. So the, it's only powered for a short time and that's uh, the, we need that pulse to trigger the machine. Ooh, I forgot to hook these up. That's uh, That was stupid of me. Um, anyway, so that's what all this does and let me just reset this circuit here. You can see that comes up. And let me reset the machine over here since that has been triggered once already. And so uh, now to the ultimate purpose of that machine. And this is actually why I designed it in the first place, but I thought it was kind of cool, so I'd make a video of it. Uh, let's say I step on a pressure plate here, and I'll get this gray wool. And you can see I can't step on it again. That doesn't work. Uh, let's say I want this one, and that gives me a red wool. Uh, whenever I step on any of the others, nothing will happen, because the machine has been deactivated. Uh, and how this works, basically, is after this receives two pulses from these pulse thingies, like these uh, pulse emitters, it, the output comes along here and triggers this piston, and uh, these this row of blocks, that alternating glass and wool, used to be shifted one block over this way, so that the pulse could actually travel through the glass block in this corner and continue to the circuit. But once this is all pushed, um, it is no longer able to do that, and that's what shuts it off. Uh, so yeah, that's the purpose of the machine. Um, that was just my example. There's probably many other ways you could use this machine, uh, but that's just what I thought of, because that's why I designed it in the first place. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys uh, like the tutorial. I know sometimes, you know, if you need a redstone machine, it, it can be hard to come up with it yourself. So, you know, you may find yourself needing this at some point in the future, and um, this will should save you some time in building it. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys next time, and goodbye.